Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> haven't seen us for a long time, have you? We've just spent six nights in Dunfanaghy. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, the weather wasn't brilliant, was it? No, no. It Especially wasn't. yesterday. So we've just been hanging around there, doing nothing really, haven't just we? Just enjoying ourselves. Enjoying ourselves. Yeah. So guys, we're trying to have a day off, but we popped into a pub, the Oyster Bar. And Dan is playing one of the locals, Eugene, at pool. Say hello, Eugene. Hello, Eugene. <laughs> so this is one of the locals we've met in the Oyster Bar. This is our second day in the Oyster Bar, and we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Dan's getting really serious with the pool. Finally moving on today, pulling his finger out. We're in Falcara. Just stopped off to empty his toilet because there's a little air thing right behind you. Don't know if you can smell it, um, but we can empty his toilet there. Both of his toilets, because we've got two Ooh. toilets now and they're both full. Yeah, are you excited to do that? Uh, not really, but I don't mind, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, regarding toilets, some certain people need to learn how to... They need to get to understand our humour. It was a joke. I didn't really buy Mazzy a toilet for her birthday. We just, but we got you. We did get you. It, we, we both acted all through that last video. It was just a big sketch to make people laugh. Some people didn't get the humour. God, they were ripping into me on the comments. I had to block loads of people. Uh, honestly, lighten up. You know, if you want a serious channel, we're not the one for you. We just have a laugh. Um, I didn't buy you a toilet, did I? No. And this is going to annoy a lot of people. But if you had a done, may I just say, I would have been extremely grateful. When you live in a van, you are grateful of the smallest of things, and I'm extremely grateful of everything you do for me. So Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when it does come to Mazzy's birthday, there won't be any presents. We I don't need nothing. We'd... It's hard to explain. I'm just going to give Mazzy a fantastic day out. That's all we need isn't it all i've ever asked for is just just as long as we're happy to gather yeah. and have a nice day i'll give yeah. you a very nice day yeah material <laughs> things don't mean anything once you once you've got rid of all your possessions and you're in a van yeah and you're living off basics material everyone's saying oh get her some flowers you better be getting her some jewelry <laughs> blah -de -blah -de -blah. <laughs> no flowers and jewelry mean nothing to mazzy anyway yeah let me get this toilet emptied and yeah. then we'll start the vlog properly Come with us. The only downside to these is you can't properly swill out your toilet. You know, you can empty it, you empty it down there. You have got taps, but it doesn't, it's not the same as having a hose and doing it properly. Are you just gonna do your best is what you're saying? Yes. Ooh, the first time of emptying the new toilet. <laughs> Can't you lift the grate? No. Is it gonna go through the grate? <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, silly. Let's have a look. Let's show everybody. That's for your grey waist. Oh, I see. Good luck. While Dan's doing that, I just thought I'd come over and show you these little paint. Well, they're not little, they're huge paintings on here. Oh, they are wonderful. They look like they're done with oils. Yeah, very nice. So is that your posh new um, um, gas connector? It is. This goes on the gas flow system for Ireland. Oh, okay. Don't think it were expensive at all. I heard somebody who went over to France or somewhere and they didn't have the right connector and they didn't even know you had different gas sized cylinders over there and they had to buy one over there and it cost them £125. Oh my god! Just for the connector for the gas, so they got ripped off. Um, if you get it over here or in the UK, I think they're about five, ten pounds, something like that. That'll come in handy then. It will come in handy, yeah. I'm sat in the van while Dan's checking out his stove. The weather is absolutely atrocious today, bless him. So I think he might film this one. Don't know the story with it, I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, bless him, look. 
Oh, it's bad out there, Mazzy. That wind's getting up and it's raining. Yeah. You're not going to get out here, are you? Probably not. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> can you tell us quick now what it was about? Well, I'm going to tell the story out there. Oh, OK. I'll tell you when I come back, yeah? Yeah. I don't know the full story, to be honest. It was too cold and wet to read it all <laughs> properly, but I have taken a picture, so I'll put that in whilst I'm talking and people can pause it and read it properly if they want to. It's about a giant. Why don't you tell the story in the van and keep warm? Oh no, I've got to tell the story next to the storm. Oh, go on then. Yeah. So just half a mile from where we were emptying the toilet, I saw about this stone and I thought I had to bring you here to show you it. There it is. It is literally just a big white stone on top of a massive pillar. And I thought I need to go and find out what the story is about that. I'll show you the story now, but I'll try and tell you it very, very quickly. There was a mythological king on the island of something just over there, Tor Torrey Island, I think it's called. This mythological king was a giant and he stole a cow. Now, the guy who he stole the cow off then wanted to kill the giant, Balor. Balor found out about this, so he got hold of this king, put his head on the stone and cut his head off. Something like that. That's all I'm telling you about it because honestly, it's freezing. It's rubbish, absolutely rubbish out here. But if you read the story properly, it goes into a lot more detail than I just have. And you might find it interesting. It's been there about 250 years apparently, is that thing. Just a stone on top of a concrete pillar. Brilliant. Love it. I missed a tiny bit of the story out as well. On the far side of the stone, there's a little, like, vein. Uh -huh. And apparently it's blood. That's the blood from when he cut his head off and it seeped down. And it stained the stone. Apparently. Anyway this weather. <laughs> now the plan was or is to now go see a shipwreck Yay. on the beach but this weather must <laughs> Come on we can brave it. We'll go and we'll see what it's like there but yeah. it's a nightmare yeah. out there. <laughs> we've had worse, we've had worse. Lovely looking pub in there. That's a bigger Guinness than the one I had the other day in that big barrel. It's there. Bad Eddie shipwreck. Bad Eddie. Bad Eddie. Oh. Bad Eddie. Okay. Um, yeah, we can't get out to it. If the sea's out, you can actually walk out to it, I believe. Oh wow. But we can't get there, unfortunately. No. Never mind. The story goes, it's been there since the 1970s, and there is a story saying a guy. I don't know if this is true though, because I've read a different story. There's a guy who was getting a divorce with his wife and she wanted half of everything and she wanted half of his boat. <laughs> so he purposefully grounded it there and says, there you go, go get your half. Oh, really? And it's been there ever since. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's that's, that's one story, but I don't think that's the true story. I'm not sure. But it would have been really nice to get out and walk around yeah. it, wouldn't it? What was it, a fishing boat? I think it was just a fishing boat. I heard that he needed some repairs doing to it. And he came here to have some repairs done. I don't know if he ran out of money or what, and it's just been stuck there. Uh, what a shame. Anyway, you said you had a, a joke for us. Oh, I... <laughs> I can't wait to hear your joke, because <laughs> I absolutely love them, Mazzy. So Good! When you're ready... Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Right, so, we, <clears throat> we, as we were talking about birthdays today... I thought of this joke, right? So, so Paddy was in the bar, right? And Sean comes in and says, Are you right there, Paddy? He says, yeah. And he was just telling Sean then how it was Mary's birthday this week. And Sean said, did you get her anything nice? He said, I got her a vibrator. And Sean says, oh, did she enjoy the present then? He said, I don't know, Jesus, Sean. All she's done ever since is moan. <laughs> no. That was terrible. <laughs> I will keep that in, in the vlog, Mazzy, you know. Per personally, I don't think that's suitable for our channel. There's so many Irish jokes and you pick that one. It was about a birthday. You know, she could have got been given a toilet, you know. It's funny, though. I had an Irish joke about a Paddy and, Paddy and a Sean who went yeah. into a bar. Yeah. Different to yours. I go on, then. No, I'll save it. Might say it tomorrow. I thought it were a bit rude, but after listening to that, I'll tell you my rude one tomorrow, shall I? It ain't as rude as that. 
Tell everyone why we pulled over. We pulled over because it went bang, crash, wallop, bush, bash. And shall I tell everyone what happened? Yeah, what did happen? There was a big noise up back. Yeah, you put the bottle of coke in the fridge. I did, yeah. <laughs> and the only thing in the fridge I was worried about is my eggs. Oh, well, are they alright? I, I don't think so. No. No, cut it. We were just both talking about something we've both noticed since being in Ireland. What's that then? The, the, the houses are beautiful, they're immaculate, aren't they? Yep, you get some derelict ones, well a lot of derelict buildings, and then you get the lived-in houses, and they're all different colours, mainly bungalows, aren't they, for yeah. some reason? Um, it's beautiful colours and shapes. But they really are well looked after, mm. aren't they? Yeah, it reminds me a bit of American houses in the shapes. They're all different, every house is different. I think we've decided we're going to go to Andara, I think it's called. Ardara, Andara. It's a town and we can park in the centre of there. But there's really not much around here, it's very bleak. Not many sites, I think we're just going to miss like a, an ancient burial chamber but there's thousands of them in Ireland we've seen them before that it's nothing special uh, so yeah we're gonna go there maybe vlog a little bit around the town what are you doing right now making my delicious young man a bacon patty and a cup of coffee thank you very much <laughs> I'd like you guys to help me if you could um, will you keep an eye out in the background on all the videos today in the van and if you can see my thermal uh, trousers, <laughs> let me know, because I've had them on constantly. Woke up the other day, they're not on, and I don't know where they've gone. And we've searched high and low, they've just absolutely, completely and utterly disappeared. So if you can see my thermal trousers, just let me know in the comments, yeah? There goes your breakfast, Mazzy. I know, I'm so... Got it. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. We bought these yesterday morning. Uh, potato cakes, four potato breads. Uh, the best before second of February, and there's mould on it. But looking at it, right, I'm beginning to think if it was on there when I bought it. Well, that's disgusting, isn't it? Why have they gone off and it says second of February? I don't know. Yeah. Bacon sandwich. Freshly made bread. We like these, don't we, Mazzy? They're handy. They're so handy, aren't they? Yeah. Because they, they don't go off, you see. Not for months and months, so... They're like, I don't know, pre-made, and you just shove them in the oven for 10, 15 minutes. Very nice. Thank you very much. We've just been to a shop, haven't we? All we wanted was some like, you know, like some chicken, southern fried chicken or something. On the bone. On yeah. the bone. None of us are really hungry, so we just fancied something to nibble on as a snack tonight. God, this is embarrassing. It's not embarrassing, Mazza. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> we went into a shop. It's called Centura. Uh-huh. And it's like, it's a bit like the co-ops you have in England. But much better. Much better. Yeah. They have homemade foods they in do. there. Now, would you like to get them out and show us, Mazzy? We have to show them. Yeah. Honestly, neither of us are, were hungry, but I'm hungry now. This is what I'm having for my tea. Three euros, that's about £2.50, guys. Potato gratin. It's chicken, is it chicken? Uh, potato gratin with bacon. Mazzy's got a roast beef. Look at that, it's a proper, a proper meal. Where's the other one? No, there's one behind you in a bag up there. Hello. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. It's a piece of quiche. It's the best quiche you've ever seen in your life. And these are all hot as well. Well, this, these are hot, but these... They will be hot. hot. This is hot. Oh, is it still hot? Yeah. yeah, it's still hot. Look at that for a piece of quiche. Two pounds for the best piece of quiche you've ever seen in your life. And this is the creme de la creme, volivants. I love me volivants, chicken and bacon with cheese volivants. Look at the size of them volivants, look at me hand, look at me hand, look at that volivant. Volivants are normally like that big and you have them at part. well that big, and you have them at parties and they're just little nibbles. This is a volivant meal. 
three pound fifty three euro fifty three pounds so tonight i am going to have them together even though i wasn't hungry i'm going to save that for tomorrow night i think maz is saving that for tomorrow you're not you're not up for that now are you no i just i just don't feel like a big meal no so i think maz is just going to have a bit of mine yeah. and we'll just make this do so for th what three five euro which is what four pounds twenty four pounds ten uh that's going to feed both of us tonight and it's all homemade on the premises i believe beautiful honestly get yourself to centra centra it's the shop of the future we also got this from Centra, which is bacon grills, and you just slice it up. I think it's going to be a bit like sliced spam. Yeah, which I'm a bit nervous now. I'm not, because I'd really like that. You chose that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we also got some milk and some bread. <laughs> I'm not sure that were worth filming, really. It's just milk and bread, isn't it? So, a short video for you today. Yeah. It's mainly been about travelling and just trying to get back into this filming thing. It's yeah. hard, you know, when you've had a few days off, it's hard, isn't it? We had an awful lot of travelling today, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did about an hour and a half travelling. Yeah, more um, than expected. <laughs> yeah. So, tomorrow we're planning on going to Donegal, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Donegal. Yeah. Which looks like a, quite a big town, a bigger town than we've been in. And hopefully exactly. there's a bit of vlogging to do there. Yay! Uh, there's a few museums and things, I think, there. Uh, but before we go there, we're just going to go around the peninsula and just check that out and then finish up in Donegal tomorrow night. So join us for that yeah, one. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. See you all then. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Good night, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.